On board a ship, we have a machine called the freshwater generator, which converts seawater into fresh water. In this video, you'll see the engine team clean the condenser tubes, which is one of the regular maintenance jobs being done on board to keep the water production within optimal capacity. Today we will be cleaning the condenser tubes of the freshwater generator. So it's been a few days since we left port and uh, the freshwater generation has been producing water. But uh, for the past few days we have noticed that there has been a drop uh, in the production. One of the main causes of that is poor heat exchange. And the easiest way to resolve it is by cleaning the condenser tubes of the condenser. It could also mean that the tubes of the evaporator are dirty, but the condenser tubes are easier to clean. And uh, as soon as we're done with that, we can easily and quickly see the results. Our ship is installed with a freshwater generator, which uses the process of distillation as the means of producing water salinity. I have already made a previous video explaining the operating principle of a distillation plant. If you want to check it out, the link is in the video description. But just to give an overview, distillation plants such as these have an evaporator where seawater is heated until it turns into vapor and a condenser where the water vapor is cooled and condenses into distilled water. As you can see right now, the nuts and bolts holding one of the end covers of the condenser is being loosened. This cover will be removed in order to expose the condenser tubes so we can check their condition and eventually start cleaning them. It's not a very difficult job except the end covers are made from cast iron, so they are a bit heavy. But two people can do this job easily. After removing the nuts, we just have to insert a jack bolt to push the cover away from the casing. You have to be very careful and make sure that all of the nuts have already been removed before doing this. If not, this could result to severe damage to the cover. Once there is a sufficient gap, the casing can be easily removed. At first glance, you can immediately see that the tubes appear to be coated with some kind of residue as a result of metal corrosion within the seawater system. This coating reduces the heat transfer capability of the condenser, so we need to remove it. There are two ways to clean the tubes. First is by chemical circulation using a solution of water and hydrochloric acid. And the other, much more commonly used method is cleaning each tube by means of a brush. For small condensers such as this, it would be more practical to use a brush, as chemical circulation involves a lot of preparation and will take a lot of time to finish.
Although cleaning by brush looks very tedious, it is also quite effective. Cleaning the tubes in this manner would take about an hour. After brushing, the tubes are flushed with water in order to remove the remaining residue inside. After all tubes have been brushed and flushed with water, there is a noticeable change in the appearance of the tubes. Commonly, the material used for these tubes are copper nickel or bronze alloys which usually have a yellowish color. Looking at them closely, you could immediately see that most of the residue has been removed from the tubes. After checking the condition and confirming satisfactory results, it's time to box up and install the cover back in place. This job is usually done whenever the freshwater production rate falls below the rated capacity. Although, of course, this is not the only cost of low production. In case after cleaning and there is no significant increase in production rate, the evaporator tubes might also need cleaning. But that's going to be a topic for another episode. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next one.